very different type of vlog today, and probably the grand majority of you who are my subscribers could give a crap less about this, so feel free to click out of it if you don't want to listen to me fangirl for a while, but oh my gosh, can we just talk about the Monkey's new single? Oh my goodness, I just, it makes me so freaking happy. Okay, so a little bit of back history. I have been a Monkey's fan since I was 15 years old. And that said, this is the first time they have released a new album since I have been a fan. Not counting compilation albums, not counting re-releases of old albums. Legit new album. My only complaint is one that can't be helped because Davy Jones is dead and therefore can't sing on it. Unless they pull a Beatles anthology move like they did with Free as a Bird and Real Love and took what was a demo track and then build up on it to turn it into a new thing, I suppose that would be a possibility. But other than that, yeah, obviously cannot happen because he's gone. So, unfortunately, Davy was my favorite, so that puts a little bit of a damper on things for me personally, but regardless, still makes me very stupidly happy that they're even doing a new album for the 50th anniversary of the TV show and of the band in general. It just makes me really, really happy. So, the new song, you can actually find it here on YouTube, um, is called She Makes Me Laugh. I'll put a link to it down in the description bar, um, if you don't feel like typing it into the search bar and searching it, even though it should pop right up. But anyway, um, it's so good. I actually, I'm going to be completely frank with you. I was super skeptical of what the hell the quality of this thing was going to be because the Pool It album, gotta be honest, that it was my least favorite one they ever did. That was the one they did in the 80s. It just, it's, the whole damn thing is cringeworthy, in my opinion. I kind of try to brush that one under the rug and pretend it was never a thing. So there was that, and then in the 90s, in 1997, I want to say, they did the Just Us album, which was better, but still a lot of weak shit on it. I mean, I was a fan of the redone version of Circle Sky, and basically all the songs Davey sang, and that was about it. So, <laughs> just putting it out there. But, yeah, this one, so with that in mind, I... I didn't have the highest hopes for this going into it. I figured I'll probably listen to it once and not touch it again. Boy, did I think wrong, because I have basically had it on a non-stop loop since it dropped like two, maybe three days ago, whenever it was. We got it a day earlier than was expected, regardless. Um, but yeah, I, I would put it in the video, but I don't want to get flagged for copyright, so therefore you'll have to go click the link yourself. But regardless, um... No, I am actually really, really surprised at this. Um, the person who wrote the song wasn't one of them. It was actually um, a guy from the band Weezer. I think you pronounce his name River Cuomo. I don't know. I'm not a Weezer fan. I don't know anything about this guy other than he's apparently in the band Weezer. So, but regardless, he apparently wrote this song and really nailed it. <laughs> I mean, it not only musically totally fits the bill for the monkey sound, what they sounded like in the 60s more or less, but also even just the lyrics kind of fit the silliness of the band in the 60s and of the TV show, and has that sort of innocence about it that I always loved about them, that was like my big draw to them. It just, it's perfect. And then you throw in the way that they handled the music, like the jangly guitars, I mean, to me, it almost sounds beatle but then again, the Monkees were America's answer to the Beatles, so... Kinda natural that I would love them, too. But... The guitars, though, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, I just... More than anything, I keep playing it for those guitars, it's so 60s, and I just love it so much! And Mickey's voice, actually... I'm surprised that it sounds as good as it does. I'm, I, I feel like I'm gonna somehow incur hate for admitting that, but I'm just throwing it out there. I'm being honest with you guys that, I, I mean, I've heard what he sounded like on the last few tours, and there's a reason I've never gone and seen Mickey Dolan's solo. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, um, he actually sounded 
vocally. I don't know if they maybe touched it up in the studio or what the case may be, but it sounded almost just like it did on the Just Us album, which was like 20 years ago. So, yeah, I was blown away by that because his voice hasn't sounded like that in, you know, 20 years. Um, <laughs> yeah, I know, I'm just like, don't throw things at me, don't hit me. But uh, <laughs> I'm just stating an opinion, I'm just stating an opinion, don't hate me. But, um, no, he sounded really good on this, and be it studio trickery, be it real life, I don't know, but it sounds really good, and it's really cool. And then the harmonies on it, too, not only sound traditional monkeys-esque, but again, also beatly too, which just fits in with that 60s pop sound that I've just always found more appealing than anything. So there's that, and... I don't know if it's the other guys in the band singing back up on that, or if it's studio music musicians singing back up on it, or what the case is here, but it's weird because it's almost like Davies in the harmony somewhere, even though I know logically there is no way this is humanly possible. It's so weird because you can almost hear him in there. It's like my brain is tricking me into hearing what I want to hear. But knowing that, that there is no way that that's actually him, I'm like, who is that then? Is is that Peter? I mean, on the 2012 tour, he um, they had Peter sing the song Early Morning Blues and Greens, which traditionally was one of Davies' songs, and I was surprised at how much he can sound like him when he tries to. So it's not out of the realm of possibility that that could be Peter in the harmonies, but I actually don't know very many facts at this point about who all was on the track, and I'm still trying to dig up answers to that, but I may not have them until the album comes out whenever it comes out. I'm not sure when the album comes out, <laughs> hopefully soon, um, but I actually don't know, so I guess whenever it does, I'll look at the liner notes and figure this out. But, um, but yeah, I'm just really, really tripped out by it, and it's just such a cute song in general, and if it were an mp3 and not on YouTube, it would probably quickly be becoming my most played track on the Last FM website. I've been listening to it that much. I have probably honestly listened to it over a thousand times at this point. That is not even exaggeration. I am not kidding with you when I say that I have been playing it on a non-stop loop since I discovered it the other day when it dropped. <laughs> I pretty much stopped every time I filmed for YouTube and then immediately put it back on as soon as I'm done and turned it off to sleep. That's about it. And yet, <laughs> the craziest part, when listening to it that many times, I still have not gotten all the words memorized. No, 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 correction. Not memorized in the correct order. I have the words down, just... Especially on the chorus, it keeps trying to flip around the order of the two verses of the chorus, or the two halves of the chorus. I I honestly don't have that much technical musical knowledge, so I'm probably screwing this up royally and trying to describe what I'm talking about here. Layman's terms, what can I tell you? But anyway, um, yeah, I keep mixing that part up backwards, and the order of the verses themselves I keep getting out of order, but I'm getting there because... Essentially, the words themselves, I know it's just not in the right order. Hopefully by September, when I go see them, I'll have this down, but yeah, there's a lot of time between now and September. I think it's like 143 days till the show I'm seeing them at, if I remember right. I should double check that. It's been a while since I did the actual proper count to make sure I'm not screwing up days here, but yeah, so... <laughs> It's just so cute, and it's been a long time since I have hardcore fangirled over this band. Oh my goodness, I just... I mean, the fandom itself, I don't like to wander into too far because it can be a scary place at times. Those of you who are of the fandom know exactly what I'm talking about in this, in that the drama becomes unfucking real Um and over really stupid shit. So, yeah, I, I mean, I am a fan, but I try to keep a safe distance from the fandom, if that makes sense. 
But that said, it doesn't mean I fangirl any less hard. I just do it individually instead of as a group effort. I mean, I honestly am, um, oh, some of you who know me from way back may remember this, but who remembers the adventures of Bobble Baby? I am honestly considering, um, bringing that back in the days leading up to the show and in the months leading up the sh to the show, but I haven't decided yet. I'm not sure if I have enough material to drag it out for that long with a picture a day, but oh, we can see what I can do, but I don't know if anybody even still cares at this point, so maybe I will, maybe I won't, maybe I'll do it, but just for my own amusement and not post them anywhere. I don't know, but yeah, I went and dug it out of my closet and I've had it on display for the last few days ever since the song and I really need to go get my other box of the bobbleheads out because I actually have one of the full set in the red shirts. The box is actually signed by Peter Torx. My best friend got me that for Christmas one year because she's fucking awesome. But um, I just have the one of the blue, which is ironic because my favorite color is blue. You'd think I'd have the whole set of those, but it seems I have a harder time coming across these in mint condition than I did with the red, so... Whatever, it's all good. I can use them regardless, but, um, but yeah, this was the original one. This is the one I have had since 2003, if I remember right, because I think I got this, like, literally right after I went and saw Davey. Um, I think it was even in the same week, if I remember right. Um, yeah, so that would be 2003. It seems a lifetime ago. <laughs> For some of my viewers, that literally is a lifetime ago, because some of you guys weren't even born yet in 2003. I was 18 in 2003. I am aging myself big time. So yeah, I've still got it. It's still in fairly pristine condition, except for some shiny spots on the hair just from the number of times I've closed the box, because I still store it in the box just to keep dust off of it and to keep it from getting messed up, keep the sun from bleaching it or anything, but I still take it out. I play with it. It's, I'm easily amused. Uh, I haven't taken my replacement of the Monkey Mobile out of the box, though, because when we got robbed a few years ago, I did lose my original Monkey Mobile, but I was able to buy a replacement, but having thrown that much money at it as I did, I'm like, maybe I should keep this one mint in the box. I don't know. I used to play with the other one, but this one has stayed in the box since I got it. Um... <laughs> Basically, I am a perpetual five-year-old. I can keep myself endlessly amused with freaking toys, but yeah. <laughs> if the the release this year for um, the new Monkeys figurines, they have like different editions of them. There's like an 8-inch variation, there's um, a 12-inch variation, if I remember right, of dolls of all four of them, but there's three sets of the dolls in different outfits and things. If they weren't so damn expensive, I would buy all of them and probably be endlessly amused for the rest of forever with them, because, <laughs> again, I am extremely immature. I am somebody who, oh god, am I really admitting this? I still play with Barbies sometimes. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, like I said, I am mentally very much still a child. Probably always will be. But, um, but yeah, probably my favorite of the monkey's toys. Always has been. Always will be this guy right here. Um, I actually tried to make a little teeny tiny Nez hat for it, because I was going to do Elf on the Shelf last December, but with Davy as the elf, and have the little Nez hat as his elf hat, but lo and behold, I could not make one tiny enough to fit on it that actually was shaped right, so that got scrapped. Um, yeah, <laughs> it was probably a stupid idea anyway, but... The idea amused me anyway, but realizing that I can't really bend his limbs or anything to make him do anything kind of would have limited this greatly, but um, with the figurines that came out this year, they're, to the best of my knowledge anyway, I think they're jointed, at least as much as a Barbie is, so I was figuring, well, I could feasibly do it with those, and I know one of them does come with the green little Nez hat, could at least stick that on baby make him be the elf on the shelf that way but from the pictures I saw there Davy is too tall so I don't know how elfy this would really look but um 
I realize I have totally gone off on another unrelated tangent completely from where I started out here. I was originally talking about the new song, and now I'm talking about my nerding out over monkeys memorabilia toys. Awesome! <laughs> Boy, I suck. I mean, while we're at it, I may as well go grab my little perler bead figurines of them I made last time I saw them in concert. I made them, like, a couple weeks before, or a couple weeks after. No, had to be before, because when my friend came out for that show, they were on the shelf out here. So, yeah, that was a thing. Pretty sure. Unless I'm remembering it wrong. I am fully intending on remaking those, but fixing the flesh tone on them. Actually, you know what? I'm just gonna get them, because I have no shame. Oh, right. Oh, I have them literally right here. They're kind of cute. Um, but yeah, some of the colors I think I would do differently now that I have more beads at my disposal to choose from. I mean, they're really, really simplistic. Um, I, I guess I'm gonna hold them up two at a time. These are my Peter and Davy ones, and Mickey and Nez over here. Froland's over here with his fro. This one got bendy. I really need to try and put it under a book to flatten it back out. But yeah, the uh, my main issue with these is the flesh tone. Because I didn't have flesh tone at the point where I made these. The closest I could come up with, really, aside from the color I used for Peter's hair, but since I was using it for his hair, couldn't use that as the skin tone, because then what would I use for his hair? Um, so I used the glow-in-the-dark beads, which... I didn't think much of it until people started pointing out, they look like aliens! And I'm like, ah, oh, crap, you're right. And the fact that they glow in the dark does not help matters any. Um, yeah, that. So, luckily, unless you stick a lamp basically right on them, they don't glow. Otherwise, this would probably be really freaky at night, because these just live on my bookshelf. They're always just, like, right at the front of one of the shelves, since... Couldn't really think of where else to stick them, so I live on the bookshelf, because why not? My nieces and nephews know who the monkeys are specifically because of these figurines that I made. But yeah, I think if I remake these, I'll probably redo them with the blue shirts and do flesh tone. Maybe use a different shade for Peter's hair that's not quite so close to a flesh tone, and see how we do from there. And probably make Davy's hair darker. The color I used for Mickey's really should have been the color I used for Davies. I don't know why exactly I didn't, but there it is. But at least I got the heights correct. You can't really tell from me holding them up because they're kind of just all over, but yeah. Anyway, um, I don't really have anything else to say here. Otherwise, I could probably just go on with this video and keep rambling about monkey's shit all night if you let me, but I'm not gonna do that to you guys, because I've been talking for almost 20 freaking minutes already. Um, so, yeah, it's just so rare that I publicly monkeys fangirl anymore that it just feels really good when I do, and then I get carried away and I have to reel myself back in, which I'm doing right now, alright. Because <laughs> you guys are no doubt sick to death of my face and my voice by now, so... Anyway, <laughs> like I said, um, about all I have to say on this. So, if you made it this far into the video, gold star to you, because I probably wouldn't sit through this video this far in. So, yay for you. Thanks for watching it. I don't know why you did, but hopefully at least you got a laugh out of my insane fangirling, if nothing else. And... Yeah, <laughs> this is not really the norm for this channel, but I figured what the hell, I'll throw it up online anyway.